Hello, good morning girls. So today we will be dealing with the topic layout, contents or format of a research report. Just look into the board. So the topic what we are going to discuss is layout, structure, format, contents of a research report. All these terms mean the same thing. So layout or a structure or a content of research report generally mean what should be included in the research report. What are the things to be included in the research report is generally termed as layout, structure or format. So this research report should include three sections. It should have a preliminary section. It should have a main body or a textual section and it should have an end matter or a reference section. So we will discuss each section one by one. So coming to the first section that is preliminary section. The first section of a research report is termed as the preliminary section. So this preliminary section should contain all these facts. That is the preliminary section should first include a title page. So title page is generally termed as the cover page. The first page of your research report. This title page should contain three important things. That is it should have the title of your research. And this title should be simple, clear, crisp. And the second thing what should be included in the title page is the name of the researcher. And the third thing is the name of the person to whom the research report is actually prepared should be included in the title page. Clear. And the second thing to be included in the preliminary section is letter of transmittal. So letter of transmittal should contain a brief background of your research. That is it should contain the resume of the scope and background of your research work. And the third point to be included is acknowledgement. Acknowledgement means names of persons who the, has supported the researcher to complete the research. That is who has guided the researcher, who has supported the researcher in order to complete the research work in time. Who has offered valuable suggestions to the researcher to complete their research. Those persons whose name will be included in a page that is termed as acknowledgement page. And this acknowledgement page, the researcher will express his gratitude, will express his thankfulness to the person who have supported him to complete his research work. And the third page is letter of authentication. Letter of authentication or letter of authorization is a letter which gives permission to a researcher to do research on a particular business problem. Clear. That letter is termed as letter of authentication. That should be attached in the preliminary section. And next, it should contain table of contents. That is what are the materials which are included in the report. What are the chapters? What are the, in, what are the different introductions or chapters included? That should be contained in the table of contents. And the next is list of figures and tables. So what are the different charts, figures or tables which are included in the research report? That should be included in the last. Clear. This is regarding the first section. And come to the second section that is main body or the textual section. This textual section should contain seven related things. So what are this is? The first one is abstract. So abstract is generally written in the starting of a research report. So this abstract is a summary of what you have done. So this abstract should mainly include the findings as well as the analysis of your research report. And when you are writing an abstract, it should be very simple. It should be limited to 200 to 250 words. Because this abstract generally attracts the minds of a reader. It will give a glance whether the reader has to read the full report or not. And the second one is introduction. So the researcher has to give introduction to his study. Okay. To his study that is relating to his research work. And in the introduction part, the various information to be included is... The first one is statement of the problem. That is what factors have led the researcher to do his research. Those factors should be included in the statement of the problem. And the next thing is objectives. So what are the objectives for his research work? That should be included in the introduction part. And the importance of the study. 
that should be included in the introduction part next if any technical terms are used by the researcher in his research work that should also be shown in the introduction part what is the scope or the area which is covered by the researcher that should be included and at last if any limitations are faced by the researcher while he is doing research those limitations should be stated in the introduction part so the third part to be included in the main body is the research methods so this is the most important part in the textual section because every reader will be interested to know the methodology which is practiced by the researcher in order to do his research so this section is the most important and in this section the different things to be included is the research design that is a systematic plan or procedure which is adopted by the researcher in order to do his research it may be a descriptive research design it may be an exploratory it may be an experimental so what is the research design which is used by the researcher that should be included next is sample methods so here the researcher uses different sampling methods in order to select a sample so what is the sample method that is maybe probability or non probability so which method the researcher has adopted and why that should be stated and next is data collection methods that is the data for the research may be obtained either from a primary source or a secondary source so the methodology which is adopted to collect the data that is whether primary or secondary it should be described and the next is tools and techniques what are the different statistical tools or techniques which are adopted by the researcher in order to do his research work that should be stated and the next one is duration the time taken by the researcher in order to complete his research work that should be stated and the next hypothesis if any presumptions have been stated by the researcher that presumptions and what is the methodology which is adopted in order to solve that presumption should be stated that so this is the third one and coming to the fourth one fourth one is data presentation and analysis so data presentation means when the collected data is presented in the form of tables for analysis it is termed as data presentation so in data presentation a researcher usually follows an approach that approach is known as situation problem solution evaluation approach so what is a situation what is a problem what is a solution and what is the evaluation approach which is followed by the researcher that should be clearly stated along with that what are the different analyzing tools which are used by the researcher that is data analysis tools it may be correlation regression anova manova or anything else that should be stated that and the fifth one is statement of findings so what are the ultimate findings of a researcher from his research work that should be clearly stated in the statement of findings so one important point is when you are presenting the findings in a research report it should be either represented in the form of tables of graphs because it will give a clear understanding to the reader and the sixth part is conclusion or recommendation so the researcher has to give the conclusions related to the objectives of his research work in a clear and a crisp manner and what recommendations the researcher wants to recommend from a research work that should also be given in the research report and the last one is summary of the report it is really the last part of a main body it should be written at last this contains a brief statement of what has been done by the researcher in his research work clear and coming to the third section that is end matter or the reference section in this section the two things the research report should include is appendix and references or bibliography so appendix means attachments that is the questionnaires the reports or the financial statements or any papers which are used by the researcher in order to do the research okay that is for example the researcher may use a questionnaire in order to do a research work so that questionnaire should be attached in the last part by placing it as an appendix he may use a financial statements of a company that financial statement should be placed at last so that is generally termed as appendix this is important because if any researcher wants to further do a researcher on the same topic this appendix will guide the researcher in order to do his research and the second part is references or bibliography 
the researcher might have referred a couple of things in order to do a research work it may be internet it may be magazines journals articles or various books so whatever the researcher has referred the names and the source of those books should be indicated in the bibliography part so this is regarding the layout structure of content or format of a research report thank you